Okay, we're back. I see people. Are they people that are going to attack me? I guess we'll find out. Should I just go say hi? I think we should just go say hi. Hello? I saw the alien. I saw people running by when I first got here, too. So, uh, what's up with you, homie? Hello? My name's Ripley. Amanda Ripley. I need your help. Please take a seat. Someone will be Oh, it's an AI or a machine no or whatever. No wonder Seekson's losing. They suck. All right, so there's a fake-ass robot AI guy. I think I saw some humans running this way when I started off the level or the section when I got here. So, yeah, that happened. I wonder if smashing open something is a thing we're going to have to do at some point. It might be. Huh. Always there. Always helpful. They work for you, so you don't have to. Uh, I do have one more of these. I'm going to go ahead and just make it. Oh, wait. I already had two in place. Right. We're good to go. I didn't realize I already had two in place. I should have noticed, because now I can pick this one up. Or no. No. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. No, 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 no. Hold on. Hold up. I got to do this and this. Now I can pick this up. There we go. Also, flashbang. Should we put some stuff in its place? Hold up. Uh, yes, bonding agent and sensor. Eh, I'll leave that alone for now. All right. Um, I don't want to use this. I want to keep my revolver out for now. Okay. Cool beans. Let's keep exploring. I'm I'm less on edge at the moment. I don't think the alien's gonna show up at this moment, but I could be wrong. Could show up at any moment. Stay on edge always and forever. Ion torch required. You got it. We must be circling back to earlier areas later because there was a lot of locked doors we could not open. For your comfort and reassurance, our working that were earlier in the game. Like requiring torches and stuff. Stop talking to me, AI man. That's the Seeks and Promise. Your user comfort is our priority. Thanks, Seekson. You're the best. Don't care. Anyway, hi X Gamer. You didn't think I'd start this game? Well here I am, starting this game. Do you are you excited? I've already died several times. Also, hi, terrifying okay. AI guy. I need to get into comms control. It's urgent. That is a restricted area. It's an emergency. Don't you realize what's going on? Apollo has the situation in hand. Your registration is almost complete. Forget it. I'll find my own way in. Yeah, you useless AI piece of shit. I wouldn't advise it. I wonder if I can deal with these guys too, or if I, or like maybe they'll get corrupted and I have to dodge and hide from them too. I guess we'll wait and see. But yeah, I've already died several times. Uh, the, the, the room where I had to dodge a bunch of people who were going to shoot me with a gun was particularly a problem. It took me quite a few tries. So far, the alien has only killed me once. If we're ca counting who's killing me, it's the alien has only been one death. And that's because, of course, as soon as I took too long to go through the room, it went right toward where I was fucking standing immediately, and it didn't even... Give me a moment, man. But yeah, in the interest of not aggroing stuff, I'm not going to run. Motion tracker, huh? I'll take that. Some kind of tracker. It's been modified. Okay. Uh, tracker could be dope. Oh, hi. Is there a problem? No, no problem. Okay, I see. It beeps faster when they're close and beeps slower as they walk away. Noted. I should have set up a death counter for this one. Eh, I guess I could have, but like, I feel like modern games usually have an in game death counter, so most likely this is going to be one of those games where when I get to the end, there will probably be an in game death counter, so I'm guessing. 
So if the alien II learns from me, will it hide from my tracker too? Oh god, don't even get on that level, Mara. Oh my god. If that ends up happening, we're all fucked. But yeah, that's definitely one thing I've heard about this game, and I know it was mentioned earlier, is that apparently the alien learns as we go. So we'll see. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and see what kind of notes we have. Hughes, I put a manual lock on the door leading upstairs. No way any access until we figure out what's going on here. Okay, chief. Input error. IO error. We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. Here at Siegson, every new technology research project and discovery is driven to find the real world applications to help you. We hope you'll join us on for this journey. Together tomorrow, our origins in space. 2034, everything changed everything. Jeez, we're, to, you know what's crazy is we're almost in 2034. Only 10 years away from that. I don't think we're going to be quite on this level of technology by that point. But just saying. Yeah, if you check the fucking motion thing. Yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say, I think it more so like learns... More so probably just learns about your uh, ways to hide and ways to distract it and stuff. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, anyway, you were, <laughs> you were here to watch me play this in person. I don't think I would play the Playing this game and with you watching me play this in person, I think I would be too distracted. It probably wouldn't even be as scary. I've, in this situation, in this setting, I'm more locked in and more focused and more likely to be scared about what I'm doing. Anyway, Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Seeks. Oh, wait. Marie, if Let's you get play this, it. I'm making my way to Seeks and Communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand, this is our best shot. Someone has got to reestablish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'm not going to leave you in clear alone. Never! Except for the fact that I'm dead, probably. You would be invisible, wrapped up in your blankie. You wouldn't even know I was there. Uh-huh. Sure, Marlo. Sure. Ooh. Override the door mechanism, please. Thank you. Door open. Thank you. Anyway, you did watch a video of how the AI works on the alien in this game. Uh, Omega. That's cool. I don't want to know too much, right? I know. I understand that it learns from you. I get that. But I don't want to know more than that at the moment. Until I learn more myself, you guys can leave it at that for now. I can also rewire from here if I need to. That's good. Um, and I saw DJ mention that. He looked it up. There doesn't seem to be an in-game death counter that you could find. Interesting. I guess we'll just have to wait and see uh, once I beat the game. Anyway, there's a hiding spot there if I need it. Cool. Yeah, basically, if Mara was sitting here watching me play, this she'd be more scared than me. And, I'm not, and I'll be the one playing. All right, there's a save point, which is good, because I was wondering if there was going to be one around here. One thing I'm seeing that the motion detector could help me with is if I do sense the alien nearby, using it to know if it's, like, in my vicinity, especially if I'm hiding a hiding spot. All right, I could break that open. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead. For all I know, it's a shortcut to run for your life. Let's just do it. I know, right? Mara would probably scare me more than the game itself. Just because she's over here jump scaring, and I'm like, dude. <laughs> huh. Okay. Charge pack? I don't think I had one of those. Is this. Are these showers? What are, what are these? Sterilizers? Okay. Do you need sterilization? Do you require sterilization? The marker on the edge of the motion tracker screen points to your objective. Wait, what? The mark. Oh, that marker. Oh, it can help you tell you where to go? Oh, that's so nice. Oh, even if I don't use it for actual motion, it actually tells you where I need to go for the objective. Awesome. A way to know what to do. That I like. But we're not in a hurry to figure out what to do. I'm exploring right now. Anyway, I got another blueprint to make 
noisemakers. That could be a helpful item. What do I need? I need more of these injectors, damn it. Oops. I will put one sensor in since I have three of them now. I also put a charge pack since I have full on that. Uh, is there anything I can put a bonding agent into? A James bonding agent? Nope, looks like all the bonding agents I have at the moment are already in position. Yeah, me being there would just heighten his awareness and increase his t the tension. Trust me, the tension was already pretty high on that last section before I got away there. It was already pretty high. My, my senses were already at the top of my head, if you will. And yeah, Garzonis. The game's going to give me a little bit of that handhold action. I'm okay with it. It's nice to know where to go sometimes, you know? And don't worry, I'm only going to use it when I need it. I'm not going to just use it all the time. Okay, that was a shortcut door we opened. Good. Alright, I've looped around. Back to... Wait, what hallway are we in? Right, I came through here. I opened up that door. That's right, okay. I haven't really gone this way yet. Like, I'm not too worried yet, but maybe I should be. Maybe I should be. Hello, creepy AI guy. I don't have the key card for that one, apparently. Let me in. I need to contact my ship. Let me in! There's gotta be another way inside. Find another way. Oh, I'll find a way. Don't you worry about that. Anyway, yeah, the time to beat this game is about 20 hours is what I was reading to uh, uh, Mara. Which is crazy because, well, you know, long game is long. Ooh, free charge pack. Let's go. But yeah, for a game like this, you wouldn't expect it to be that long, but apparently it is. Got another SCI injector. I'm going to hold off on using it, even though I would like to make a noisemaker. No rush. Let's do some access shiz. Wait, what? Oh, this is different. That was different. Yeah, because of how long this game supposedly is and how long it may take me, depending on how I do, um... That's a big reason why I wanted to start it before we actually got to October. Start it a little bit early. Because it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a long bitch. Alright, well, I guess we're just going to go into the deep dark hole where your boy can't see shit. Hughes? Listen to me. We've got to reestablish long range communications. You're becoming hysterical. Get back. I'm warning you. Tut, tut. Let's resolve this amicably. Uh oh. Jesus. That robot doesn't give a fuck. Don't go into a restricted area. Now we're going to have to dodge these robots. Oh my god. Jesus. Holy shit balls. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> God damn. Okay, don't fuck with the robots in a restricted area. Noted. Is that long for a horror game specifically? I think y'all got used to or or Resident Evil being short as fuck. No. It's long for a horror game in general, DJ. It's very long. Look up most horror games. They're usually less than 20 hours. 
So hitting that 20 hour plus mark is kind of a lot. Pretty much all the Dead Space games are shorter, except for maybe the third one, which is kind of long. No, I'm, I'm answering your question. I'm saying most of them are, are shorter. RE4 is definitely long. For the genre, 20 hours is pushing it in terms of length. That's like that's pretty long. Okay, so there's a there's a camera. Does the camera come all the way over here? Does not. Okay. I wonder if I can deactivate the camera. Good day to you, sir. Fucking hit us with that good day to you. Yeah, don't F with anything in Alien Isolation. If it wants to find you, don't fuck with it. It'll break your face. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 definitely changed everything for Resident Evil in general. Everything after Resident Evil 3, or Resident Evil 4 and beyond, just ended up being long bitches. Resident Evil 5 is a long bitch. Resident Evil 6 is an even longer bitch because of all the different campaigns. Now I'm scared of these fucking AI dudes wrecking my face, literally. Yeah, Resident Evil 3 is short even if you didn't know what to do, because Resident Evil 3... The remake of 3 is dumb short. The original 3 is even short, but the remake 3 is stupid short. Your logged message. Sensitive corporate information has been automatically detected in a Sevasto link message recently sent from this terminal. This event has been logged by Apollo on behalf of Siegson. If you have any further questions, please talk to your line manager on, on your, your nearest synthetic Siegson representative. I'm going to pass. I'm not talking to them. They're going to wreck my ass. You're more used to about 20 hour being the normal length of games in general? Yeah, no, I understand. For the length of a game in general, 20 is fine, but... I feel like 20 hours for a game like this with such high high intense intensity moments being that long is surprising. Not that it's bad, it's just surprising. Maybe part of the the time is though added tacked on to the difficulty of the game. But yeah. Anyway, Riggs, you still working down in Seeks and Communications? Remember that the trouble that you got into last year I uh, helped you out of while well, it's time to repay the favor. One of my colleagues has been looking at some of the important documents, found a few problems here. So, huh? Threatening to go visit, go to wait, waits about it. It's gonna hurt us all, so I need to keep an eye on him. Okay. His name is Daniel Holden. Lives in Josiah Sig Executive Apartment six five one. I might need to remember that six five one. Okay. Folder corrupted and utility nothing. All right. Noted. Again, we're looking out for robot AI who will wreck my tits. There's definitely one out the window. I'm assuming he can spot me. Oh shit. Hold on. I'm scaled. I wonder if I could shut these fools down. Okay, I disabled the camera. Maybe I just need to leave now. I don't need to be here, right? I disabled the camera. Now I can go to the door and just get out of here. That's what I'm guessing. I also apparently could have re rewired if I wanted. I'm okay right now. Let's just go. Tra la la, tra la la, see ya, the camera has been disabled. Tra la la, tra la la, you didn't see me, now I go bye bye. Elevator being called. Come on. Alright, elevator's here, and see ya!
It's hard not to play a game like this and want to find all the things, though, or at least things that'll help you get through the game, right? It's kind of like Dead Space in that regard, where you just want to kind of explore all the things and find all the things to help you get through it. Noted. Let's make a save. I saw another freaking robot soldier over there. We want to call him robot AI bitch. All right. There's definitely a map thing here too. Unlike Dead Space, though, you are way more vulnerable this time. Absolutely. I can't just fucking blast my way through this one. This one we have to be more sneaky. I just mean it has that feel, especially since we're in space on a space station. Just has that feel. Same kind of setting, of course. Hmm. Alright, what we got going on in here? Hello? Ammo's cool. Compounds are cool. Things are cool. And stuff is cool. I might make some more stuff here, but first, let's access this thing with security action. Uh, this one, this one, and this one. Good shit. Now let's read it. Maybe there'll be some useful things you can do with this one. Torrens Hail. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair. Registration number that. Calling Sevastopol put traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on the Wayland Utani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passenger ports head over. Okay, that was this communication we we had when we got here. Audio Torrens damage. This is Verlaine on the Torrens. What the hell just happened? Sevastopol. Okay, this is the one we just heard. Taken damage in the explosion and are pulling out of Sebastopol space. Systems will be down while we repair. I can't say for how long. This is Waits, Colonial Marshal at Sebastopol Station. We have a serious situation here. Non-local comms are down and we need you to send out an emergency message. Do you read me? Repeat, our ranged communications are down and we need help. Stand off and send help. This might be the message they tried to tell us when we got here, but we couldn't hear it properly. Unfortunate. Okay, let's see what we can create real quick. Uh, let's make one of these noisemakers, eh? Sounds good. Alright, med kit. Requires SCI injector. Flashbang required. More blasting caps. I mean, let's make sure we use one of each. Uh, oh, that uses an. Oh, right. I knew that already, actually. Sorry, I, want, I meant to go to. Uh, I guess I don't have everything I need, but anyway, whatever. Just trying to be able to pick up everything I can pick up, you know? Why did I go back on here? I don't need to go back in here. We're good. Hide in there if I need to. Grab that scrap. Get your revolver out, homie. Hey, what's up, RPG fan? You own this game and you've watched an LP of it before, but you haven't played it yourself. Are you going to? It's spooky! Some rewire action. Access to thermal comms. Communications disabled by order of Apollo. Facility offline. All outgoing communications halted. Oh, that's just great. Internal communications open on limited channels. Gotta be someone on the station I can contact. Find an alternate comm terminal. Alright, we'll go this way. Oh, I've encountered the Xenomorph, all right. It's been, uh, it's been a time. Guess we're gonna climb down. 
I'm basically on what you would call the third chapter or section of the game at this point. Hold L trigger. Oh, you can switch your vision. That's interesting. All right, anyway. Uh, my objective is over that way, but yeah. One of the smartest AI enemies ever. That's what I always hear. That's why we're uh, we're doing the thing. Got some ethanol. Interesting. Must be another material we will need at some point. All right. So there's one down there. Okay, he's over there. I don't know if there's another one on the other side. But basically it's up there with fear in the condemned game about how good the AI is. Well One of these days I'll play some more fear, other other fear games. I thought about playing Fear 2 this year, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna if I'm gonna or not. I have the whole collection. I got them all together when I bought the first game. It was like they came all together. Sure. Aha, sneaky, sneaky deaky. Fear two felt beyond generic, especially after the first one. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not that interested in it. That's why I haven't really like planned it. Oh God. I'm just going to back off. Not sure. assume he saw me maybe I just need to come up here where's my objective marker hmm This, this game released a year after Alien Colonel Marines, huh? So the other Alien game. Didn't the Alien game get like a worse rating? Uh, oh god, that guy's right there. This game got a better rating than that one did, didn't it? Anyway, okay, I got through that room. Oh shit! I thought I got away! Hold on. He actually saw me. Let, let him go back. Go back to where you came from, sir. Alright, he's going back. He's going back. We're Gucci. I mean, he's a robot AI. He doesn't really care. Alright. 
Oh, I could have hide in there. I didn't even. Okay, well, we made it over here, so that's cool. Uh, I'm gonna check this room first, I guess. So at this point, I'm not really scared of any of the of the of the aliens. I'm more worried about these robot motherfuckers. Colonel Marines has arguably the worst enemy AI ever. Oh, interesting that this has one of the best and that has one of the worst when it's the same series. Meaning alien. I'm going to look at that in a second. I'm just seeing if I'm overlooking any items. Doesn't feel like there's anything in here at all. I love the old fucking, you know, old technology feel of this. Like it's straight out of the old alien movie. It's nice. Alright, reactivate Samuels' communication. That's the plan. Apparently over here. <sighs> so anyway, uh, Garzona started playing that filter game, huh? Damn. Well, it's nice to have homies recommending games to other homies, and people actually playing them. GG. All right, let's see. Oh, shit. I can't go this way? Well, I'm fucked. Oh, shit, I can fight back. I can fight back. Oh, fuck. Okay. Bitch. Fuck your shit. Oh, God. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead as shit. I'm dead. I didn't realize I was gonna be able to fight back. That was that surprised me. Shit! I'm gonna have to go through this whole fucking room again. Damn it! Shit! Fuck! Damn it! Oh well. It's fine. Wait. Hold on one second. Is this before or after I picked up the map? I saved it and then I hit the map. Probably shouldn't be running. <sighs> okay. I mean, I can't say I did a whole bunch. I just snuck through this room, but damn it. I think I could just slide by the center here, which I didn't realize. Wait, he comes around this way? Wait, why are you going around this way? Did he see me? Is that why he came around this way? Maybe he saw me. I think he got aggroed a little bit there, but he's not going to find me this time. He can fuck right off. The 
These androids don't look like Ian Holm. I don't think these are the regular androids, man. For real? He walked all the way up in here? Go back, fool. There's still something amiss here. Nuh-uh. Oh, son of a bitch. If he finds me in here... I'm sure that's where I'm going. Well... You bitch. Oh, he grabbed me back. I'm dead. God damn it, man. I'm kind of annoyed. The fact that he followed me all the way in there is kind of annoying. Yeah, these ones are not the synthetics like in the movie. There are the synthetics in this game. We've already met at least one. In fact, one of the homies I got here on the ship was was a synthetic, I'm pretty sure. There was me and the other chick, and then there was the other guy, which I think the other guy was a synthetic. God damn it, man. Shouldn't have got caught the first time, but the fucking dude came right out the door. That was not cool. Man. Probably just sneak behind this guy. Alright, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I know he's gonna go around the front side, and that's my opportunity to get the fuck out of here. And hopefully he won't turn around before I leave. Alright, he's going around. Now hopefully he won't turn the fuck around and spot me as I leave. God damn it. Actually, don't know if he saw me again that time or not. I'm just gonna keep moving. I'm not gonna stop. You're being hysterical. Yeah, no shit. You're an android. I'm not. Of course, I'm hysterical. Okay. I don't even know if I can go. Can I sneak through this way? I hope so. Because that AI that was in there went the other way as soon as I got here. Which was good timing. Alright. I think we're looking pretty good. We're looking good. Feeling good. Alright, there's an AI over there to the right. In the window. Okay, so I think that guy just went over there and shut that off. Maybe that was the idea. Is that guy went and deactivated it? So you're supposed to follow him. So, okay, we'll keep an eye out. He's going to come back the way he came from, because that was the idea. He came back out from here and just walked in my face. Man, don't spot me. He's going to come right by me, isn't he? Oh, he went in there. He went in there. He went in that middle room. Quick. Move, bitch. Before he comes out. He went in the middle room. Go. 
The peeking has you cracking up, Morrow? Well, I'm glad you're enjoying my little peeks out around the corner. Alright. Just keep moving. He can probably spot me through windows. Like an AI bitch. Alright, where am I going? Over here? <gasps> save point, yay. I'm gonna save it before I do anything. Because this was a long walk over here. You heard that on higher difficulties, the Xenomorph can hear you breathing? You mean IRL can hear you breathing or in the game? Because in the game I could see that because it did have a hold your breath option. Ooh, shit, an EMP blueprint? Don't mind if I do. In the game? Well, they definitely had a hold your breath option a minute, a minute ago, even for the AI. Alright, ooh, this requires a lot of stuff. Holy shit. Three charge packs? Alright, you can hold... One of my charge packs for now. One of my sensors. Definitely you can hold both of those. And I'm going to hold off on the injector. I could make one of these right now. Should I make one of these right now? I'll put two charge packs in since it takes three. Mm, I won't make one yet. But I could see how this could be useful for these stupid EMP. Uh, for these stupid mech dudes. EMP the shit out of them. Could be a nice disabling thing. Yep, this is my first ever playthrough, Midnight Owl. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Never played this game before, and it's going some kind of way. <gasps> Ethanol, get it, get it. It's going. Uh huh. Yeah, welcome to the shit show. We hope you like pants being shat. Live and in color. Okay, hold up. Where's my objective marker? It's in the middle of this room, probably. Yup. Highlight values. Which values? That one, that one, that one, and whenever we see the highlighted value, hell yeah, bitch, overridden. Oh shit, we got more. What? Oh, I see. I see. There we go. I didn't understand, but I got it now. Nailed it. All right, we overrode the whole thing. GG. Samuels, you're alive. It's Ripley. Ripley. Taylor, it's Ripley. We were getting worried. We I thought... made it. Where are you? Uh, we're at a transit station now. It's right by medical. Okay. Samuels, listen to me. It's not safe here. Siegson's got this place locked tight. Their goddamn androids are killing people. That's impossible. It's contrary to primary synthetic programming. I've seen it, Samuels. I guess Siegson's got a different idea about synthetics. And there's something else here. A creature. It's big and it's lethal. Ripley, slow down. A creature. It's a life form. A, an unknown type. Some kind of alien organism. It's extremely dangerous. You and Taylor Ripley, need to make- Taylor is hurt. She was injured by debris during the crossing. How bad? I can't move her. I need medical supplies. We need to treat and pack the And injury. the Torrens? The radio is broken. I can't contact Verlaine. We're on our own. Shit. Okay. I'll come to you. Keep your eyes open. I'll send a transit car to you. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say, I think I aggroed. I think I might have aggroed some fuckers. Let me make a save.
I definitely aggroed some fucks. You, know, you remember watching an LP of Thief 2 where he was being chased by an enemy with a hammer who yelled, I will cuddle thee! And the streamer misheard it and thought he said, You will cuddle me? <laughs> That's pretty funny. You will not cuddle me without my consent! Well, I don't know where the hell I am because I haven't been in here, but here we go. Samuel's voice actor was voice has voiced a few characters in Final Fantasy 14 and 16. Ooh, like who? Also, Terminal! Is this worth my time? If it, Only if it has like an activating type thing. Receipt of transmission. Um, okay. Nothing utility-wise. I'm good. I don't need to re listen to all that right now. Iconic siren noise. Yeah, I guess it's probably the same one from the Alien. I just haven't seen Alien so long. At least not the original. I don't remember if it was the same in Alien Romulus. Oh, we're back out in the hall. Should be fun. Oh shit. I don't know where the hell I am or where I'm going. This guy got wrecked. R.I.P. Robot Man. Oh shit! He's not dead? Are you kidding me? That was uncool, bro. That was so not cool. Oh, that was the not coolest. I was about to be like, where did the motherfucker come from? Dude did not stay dead. Hilarious. Oh shit. Is he coming? Oh, he didn't see me. Thank God. Alright, if he didn't see me... Means I'm going through here, I guess. I don't know if there's a motherfucker in here. Oh shit, that's the that's the path to the hallway. Sorry. The new alien movie was awesome. I agree, six string gamer. Also, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Alien Romulus was great. Great movie. gonna go assuming that hopefully there's not gonna be a dude over here I'm just gonna keep moving this is central communications seeks and employees only that's fine nope I'm almost out of here, man. I'm almost out of here. Uh, 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 uh. Fuck! <laughs> ah! Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, somebody saw me. Somebody absolutely saw me. Don't know if they're still chasing, but hopefully they leave me alone. Boy, bay. All right, hold up. Whew. Just hanging out, waiting for the bus. Should be in about ten minutes. Well, you know, enjoy the shit show while you're here. Then. I think there's a dude on top of me. Unless it's just my feet moving around. Fucking door opening behind me. Alright. 
Here we go. Now I can see. All right, there's two to my left. One over there. Is he is he patrolling right now? I don't think there's any over here unless they're not moving. Which means I'm almost out of here, y'all. Woo! Woo! Oh! If I could just get out of here, dude. I don't know why that map wasn't taken. Did I not re-pick it up after I died the last time? Pop a save, quick! Alright, goodbye this place. See ya. Awesome. That was terrifying. But we, we made it out. I'm pretty sure there's still a couple more fucking robots on the way out, but not as many. Because once I get past this next screen, like once I get past this, I should be home free. I just don't know if I should be looking around here or if I should just dip out the front door. I just don't know if it's safe if I go out the front door or not. I just saved it, so it's whatever if I get caught. But see, once I'm outside of authorized personnel area... We're good. Like, what reason do they have to bother me, right? I didn't do nothing. I'm outside of the restricted area now, so they... Like, why... Don't bother me. I didn't do nothing. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, I will I will also get on that soapbox as well. Nowadays movie trailers be showing way too much. They show you way too much. Some trailers are done better than you expect, but I feel like when you first see it you're like, man, they showed way too much. And then after you see a movie you know whether or not it showed way too much. I think the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer was one of the best trailers I've seen in for for a very long time. Cause it didn't give shit away. Like, nothing. Nothing about anything useful from the movie did it give away at all. Even some of the jokes they used in the trailer, they didn't even bother to have in the movie. That's another thing I like, is when the jokes they use, they, they're one-liners for the trailer. And they redo different jokes for the actual movie. I like that, too. Anyway, I don't know if I should still be sneaky around here, but I'm doing it anyways, just to be on the safe side. Because for all I know, the alien can show up and ruin my day. Bonding agent. Um, let's see. You think video tra game trailers do the same thing? I don't know. Video game trailers are a little different if you think about it. Because they have to, you know, convince you to buy the game. I didn't have to technically buy a movie to see it. But you don't really have to buy it. Because it's going to be on a, an app where you can watch it later or something, you know, later. But they want to see go, you to go see it in the theater, right? So it's like, yeah. I don't know. Kingdom Hearts 3 was a good example that showed too much. Really? You think so? I don't know. Kingdom Hearts 3. What a disappointing game. Make me relive that garbage. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and make my EMP. Just so I have one. Screw it. Make it. I mean, if there's ever a spot to use it, it'll be against these fucking guys, right? I'm also going to make a, or use a med kit rather, not make one, but use one. Alright, let me go back to the EMP real quick. I want to put the bonding agents in because we have way too many of those always. That's all I wanted to do. Uh, med kit? No, I want to keep it on revolver. Keep my gun ready, y'all. The one of the one you were talking about was from the 70s. Had a hilariously bad trailer. The narrator says something is frightening this child, as it shows the boy screaming as he 
dies in the movie. It also shows the unsurprising plot twist at the end and the main character being thrown out of a window to his death. Wow, that's quite a uh, interesting set of uh, trailer plot things. All right, cool. We got one more save point here. Now that we've truly exited the area that was dangerous, now I'm worried about the alien showing up, if anything. So be ready for that, I guess. You love Alien? There's something magical about the space movies in the 70s. Space Race was ending and the movies became meta and we got Star Wars out of that too. Absolutely. Star Wars is a fucking cultural phenomenon. Anyway, the movie you're talking about, RPG fan, wasn't very good anyway. So the trailer probably just saved people from the trouble from watching it. Eh. That's one way to look at it, I suppose. I'm assuming these AI guys won't fuck with me now. Even if the security thing's going off, they're not going to just murder me now, right? One can hope. Alright, yeah, this is where I picked up the, uh, the, uh, the sensor thing. Let's see if these guys actually attack me. I'm going to assume that they might. Oh, shit. Bro, you're still going to attack me? Uh... So I have to get out of this whole area without getting caught. Aw, oh, man. Man, I just saved it though, whatever. I'll see if he chases me in here. I'm just gonna wait a moment. Doesn't seem like he's coming up here. I might have got away. He might have just gave up. Alright, so I have to avoid all of them, even now. Well, that changes my perspective on what we're doing, but we don't have that much longer to go. We, we went through the longer part. This part's not that long. Just gotta get by a couple more of these robots, I think. And that robot went all the way back to his spot. See ya. Alright. Just sneaky sneaky by these dim dim dummies. Can't go this way. Why am I going this way? Just gonna boot myself behind these boxes. See what this guy does. Hopefully he turns back down the hall down the hall instead of toward me. Otherwise we're gonna be waiting for a minute. God hearing that vent sound like they're fucking aliens roaming around. I hate it. Fucking hate it. Bro, make a move, homie! Thank you. I mean I'm glad you sit still for a long time. That's a good thing. But holy shit. I don't know if this room... I don't even think I went in this room, did I? I definitely don't recall this room. Apparently I could have come in here through a vent. I do not recall this room. Can confirm, cannot recall coming in here. Because I probably didn't. Okay, so he's peeking. He's peeking. Wait till he's not peeking no mo. Then I'll shimmy my way through this room. <laughs> More rooms are being created by who? Hello? There is no more Marshall Waits. Because he waits for no man anymore, for he is dead. Just like death awaits no man, neither does Marshall. Wait till that dude starts moving. 
Oh shit, there's two dudes? Don't come in here. I don't, I don't know, but I think there was two guys there, and I didn't realize. Terrifying! I am terrified. Again, I'm not even sure I've been in here. Let me check. I don't think I have. Folder corrupted. Call log. Uh. I need help. I'm in my apartment. There's an android outside. Help me. Your call is being rerouted by this automatic voice messaging system. He's gone. They killed him. I think it's still there. Ooh. Alright, so nothing helpful there. Noted. Keep, 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 keep sneaking. Don't stop sneaking. There's an ID tag to collect. Collect. Uh, does this come out somewhere? Safe? I got on. Huh. Let's go through here. Wherever it may go. Let's go! And yes, I'm avoiding wasting my flashlight. Sorry, not sorry. This was definitely a one way only. But a nice way to get out of here, I'm assuming. Because my objective is back the other way? What? Okay, hold on then. Ion torch required. Fun. So wait, why the fuck did I come in here then? Motherfucker. I don't need to be here. <sighs> well, well, actually, hold on. Okay, my objective is this way now. Okay, never mind. Maybe I am good. I'm a little lost on where I am. I don't really remember this area that well, but it's fine. Oh shit. There's a guy there. Sir? Fuck. Nothing requires your attention, I promise. Shit, he's coming around this way. That guy is still standing there, fool. Does he ever not stand there? He just stands there forever? He doesn't... He doesn't turn his head at all? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just proof that I need to go this way. This feels like a bad idea, homie. That dude is right there. Fuck, what can I do to get past him? I'm trying to think what I could do. Hold on. Do I have what I need to make a noisemaker? 
No, because I used all my damn SEI injectors. Fuck. I thought I made a noisemaker already. I guess I could flashbang him. Yeah. Or, you know what? EMP mine? Check it. And now I'm out. See ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to fucking be a. All right. Goodbye and good night. Sweet. All right, so we went to the comm place, got a hold of my homies that got here with me, and they're alive, just as I expected. All right. Now, this is the place where the alien was at when we ran away earlier, wasn't it? I think so. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm over here trying to press start to save it. We have to just find a save point for that, homie. Right. Okay. Wait. This isn't the same place. It is, but it just looks different to me. I don't know why. Hello there. Wow, you hot, Joan. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Wait, why are one of these AI guys here? They weren't there before. Oh! Okay. You're doing it again, you fucking random-ass AI motherfucker. Why you gotta do this? For that, I loot your dead ass. You motherfucker. Ooh. <sighs> you motherfucker. Okay. Anyway, I need to go back to the transit station. So that's where I'm going to sneakily go toward. Because bye bye. I'm good. I might heal, actually. Oh, yeah. The robots are definitely a threat, Mara. Didn't you watch the robot smash that one guy's head in? I thought you were here when that happened. Can I go? What's... Okay, that door's just locked. That's one of those ones that might be able to be opened if I reroute power. Anyway, there's a save point around here. Somewhere. I need the passcode for that one. There's a save point. It must be out here in the main hall. It is. Sweet. Gucci. Ah, that's fair. I thought you saw that robot thing happen. That's why, because I heard you go, wow. That was a robot smashing a dude's head in. Oh, shit. Free sucker! That's right, you better run. Where am I supposed to be going? Do they say I have to go to habitation? Have I tried running? I have run. It did not... Well, I haven't run where it's a problem. I'm not going to just shoot my gun willy-nilly. You ain't trolling me into do some stupid shit. I'm just not, not going to aggro shit just to aggro shit. I'm not crazy. Also, yeah, why waste ammo? This is limited ammo. I forget what was up here. Was this just a place to loot some stuff? It was just a loop. I, so this was just a loop, right? There's another dude here. What's up, play? It's weird to see all these random people here. Dude, if you aggro the alien in this area, he will fuck some people up. Alright, anyway. Um... I don't remember where I needed to go exactly. 
Return of Samuel Taylor at the Simmon Transit. I, I mean, that's where I'm at. But where? Uh, this uh, transit station. Samuel's will send a transit car. I mean, is it this one? Is it this one that's here? I guess it must be the one that's here. Because that's the one that goes back to where I came. Alright, fuck it. We're going here. Because I think this is the right way. So here we go. To the habitation tower. Let's go get habited. It's like my location thing didn't have a marker on it to tell me this is the right way. But I assume this is the right way. Fun fact, the alien is deadly allergic to weak words. Oh yeah? I'll throw some weak words at him then. See how he see how I fa see how I fare. Alright, according to the objective thing, I'm in the right area. Uh Something is moving real fast. Is it the alien already? Because that's terrifying if it is. All the more reason why I'm not going to start moving around too fast. Because if the alien is here, Uchi Mama, Uchi Bang Bang, I'm going to be a dead boy. Call the transit. Oh, this is another transit? This is the right one. Alright, we can save it again. So let's do that. I guess we're just going from one transit to the next right now. It is definitely right on top of us. This car is the Bastable Science and Medical Tower. Yep, that's where I need to go. Medical Tower. That's where we're going. The Psy Med Tower. That's where I needed to go. Alright. This makes more sense. To the Psy Med Tower. All right, here we go. Now we're in the right place. I think I went to the wrong one. There was a, a there was a cart in the other area that would have took it, taken me here as well. I definitely went to the wrong one. Now we're hopefully in the right one. 